Thank you very much for your such a nice presentation. Of course, the questions will be later uh, at the end of the uh, old presentation. The second uh, presenter will be Pedro Galvan. So Pedro, please. Thank you, Armir. Uh, I will try to present you quickly uh, what uh, our experience implementing national digital health policy in Paraguay is. Uh, that's complementing what uh, Rosanna mentioned that uh, in Latin American and Caribbean countries, we have a, a different level of development of our uh, digital health policy implementation. In this case, uh, the team, the work group was uh, this, the next please. The next slide, please. Yes, populations living in low setting countries did not have access to specialist care and quality diagnostic services like RT-PCR for COVID-19 and thus depend on the scarce resources of their health system. In order to strengthen the diagnostic and screening capacity of coronavirus, it has been proposed to use telemedicine tools for the detection of suspected cases through chest images by computer tomography of the patients suspected of being infected. The challenge for clinical and biomedical engineers is to develop artificial intelligence systems to enhance global health. The aim is to reduce the workload of health personnel in specialized hospitals to attend cases of COVID-19 thus making it possible to speed up the diagnostic processes and significantly increase the flow of patients suspected of carrying the coronavirus. Next, please. The aim of the, our case study was uh, uh, to present the results of the application of artificial intelligence to COVID-19 screening by telemedicine in public health in Paraguay. This is very important. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter how far you are with your uh, digital health policy in the country. The most important thing for the clinical and biomedical engineer is to show how useful could be such digital uh, health uh, tools, what we can implement in our countries even in this case in Paraguay, in order to impact in the, 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 to the population regarding the actual uh, pandemic uh, situation in each country. In, in the methods used is a descriptive multi-centered feasibility study based on AI tool for the rapid detection of COVID-19 in chest computed tomography images of patients with respiratory difficulties attending the country's public hospitals. The patient's digital CT images were transmitted to the AI diagnostic platform. And after a few minutes, radiologists and homologists specialized in COVID-19 in the country download the images for evaluation, confirmation of diagnosis and comparison with the genetic diagnosis, in this case, reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR. The next, please. Our results, very important. Between March 2020, as we have had the outbreak of the pandemic, and June 2021, we have made 3,150 56 rapid diagnosis tests uh, in patients with respiratory disorders to roll out COVID-19 in 14 hospitals nationwide. This is our uh, telemedicine that uh, is uh, in this moment, at this moment, with 14 CT equipment uh, uh, working for, for this project. The average age of patients was uh, 48.7 years and 52.9% were male and 47.1% uh, were female. Most of the diagnosed respiratory conditions corresponded to the age group of 27 to 
59 years. In the second most frequent corresponded to the age group of, of over 60 years and the third to the group of 19 to 26 years. The most frequent findings of the radiologists and pneumologists were severe pneumonia, bilateral pneumonia with pleural effusion, bilateral pulmonary emphysema, diffuse ground glass opacity, hemidiaphragmatic paresis, calcified granuloma in the lower right lobe, bilateral pleural effusion, sequelae of tuberculosis, bilateral emphysema and fibrotic changes among others. The sensitivity of the AI system was 93% and the specificity 80% compared to the RT-PCR, of course. It's a very good result for the first stadium of our case study. And we can compare, we can also uh, use this tool in order to make a screening in the, in the, in the, in the population who are under the suspect of COVID-19. Next, please. Pedro, you need to wrap up in two minutes, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, uh, the, here you can see the diagnosed patient's age group. As you can see, the most of the people are in this uh, age group. The next, please. And here you can see that most of the, our uh, studies were at the beginning of the pandemic and the, the people who are under the CT images uh, we have uh, made in our study what at the beginning of the uh, infections uh, phase, as you can see. The next, please. In conclusion, Paraguay has an AI-based telemedicine screening system for the rapid stratified detection of COVID-19 from chest CT images of patients with respiratory conditions. This application strengthens the integrated network of health services, rationalizing the use of specialized human resources, what we have a lack in our countries, uh, worldwide equip equipment and inputs for laboratory diagnosis. That's all our findings. And I think that uh, this is the best manner how clinical and biomedical engineers can show how important it is to implement a, a digital health policy in each country and in this case, is the, the, the manner how we can translate the policy in our in our uh, useful tool for the for the public health. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pedro, for your presentation. Just one suggestion for all other um, lecturer presenter: uh, don't lose the time on reading the statistics, data, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All participants of this webinar they have possibility to see it, so they will see it, and you tell us just what's the most important and what's the most concrete from from your results. Thanks once again.